Welcome back to Steel City Drones. Today we're going to talk about DJI's new announcement of the Zenmuse H30 and 30T series cameras. So if you have been following DJI Enterprise for the past four, four and a half years, you know that the H20 and H20T cameras have been the staples of this platform for that long. So now there are five camera sensors on the T version. So we have major improvements in each area. So let's go ahead and break this down one step at a time. We have a major bump up in resolution from 1280 to 1024. That is four times the resolution of the H20T camera. So we finally have high def thermal imagery. It's very exciting because we can now go ahead and fly much higher at nighttime for public safety. We can stay much higher above the tree lines. This is going to give you much more safer cushion to fly above that terrain. There's also now three different temperature measurement modes. The first mode is called high resolution live mode, which is going to be best quality for search and rescue. We also have a high gain mode for inspections where they require a high measurement of accuracy. There's also low gain mode for fire missions that are going to require a wide range of temperature. DGI now has an IR density filter that's going to allow us to be able to even have a wider range of temperature measurements where in low gain mode, we're going to be able to measure up to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's move over to the zoom camera. Lots of changes and improvements there as well. The new sensor is a 40 megapixel camera sensor compared to the 20 megapixel camera of the H20T. So that is a significant bump in resolution. We're also now having 34 times optical zoom compared to the older 23 times optical zoom. And now we can go up to 400 digital zoom. You know, we've always used a license plate to be able to measure and quantify the zoom capability on different camera sensors for an apples to apples comparison. And the H20T's camera always has been by far the best where we can read a license plate up to 1500 feet away. Now with the new camera sensor, we can read a license plate from 2300 feet away. Not only is that going to be able to help you in shorter ranges, like now we can stay further away from cell towers or other objects and structures that we have to be able to do inspection for, for more even better safety margins. And DJI has even improved the stabilization of this camera sensor. They have what's called video foreground stabilization, which is going to be able to improve the foreground focal point where we can go ahead and do power lines and tower inspections and be able to stay really sharply focused on the main focal area of what we're trying to inspect. We're also going to be able to get better lighting qualities in the shadowy areas with the smart capture feature, which is going to help remove the shadow areas and get better inspection pictures. DJI has also added a nighttime auxiliary light sensor to this camera, which opens up a few different new features. To start off with, we're going to get a lot better low light capabilities on the zoom camera at nighttime. This camera has three different noise reduction levels to improve the image quality by reducing the overall frame rate. So it's going to be a significant improvement at nighttime conditions. Turning on the IR light is going to give us a black and white image, but also significantly boost the exposure to where you can see extremely well at nighttime without the thermal camera. And now for the first time, DJI has incorporated a nighttime spotlight in one of its camera sensors. So with the range of this camera, we're going to be able to have a 26 foot diagonal circle from 328 feet away. There's also significant improvements to the range finder as well. 
with the older rangefinder, we were limited to about 16 to 1700 feet away. Now we're going to get almost 10,000 feet range with the new sensor. Pinpoints also have a better range and overall accuracy. From as far as 3,280 feet away, the pinpoint distance accuracy will be less than 65 feet. The wide camera also has major improvements to it. It is now 48 megapixels versus the older 12 megapixels out of this H20T camera here. And now you're going to see all the specs in the comparison of the new H30T to the older H20T and also the older H20N, which now has been unavailable for several months in the United States. So it's perfect timing for this new camera. And as you see through all these different specs and the features and the functionality, everything has been majorly improved. So that's everything with this camera sensor that I wanted to go over with you, get this information out as quickly as possible. We will have our demo unit very shortly and give you a lot more different live testing to be able to show you more demonstrations of the new features and functionality. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments section below or give us a call. We'll be glad to help you out in any way we can. We will have this in stock. We're taking pre-orders right now. And thanks again for watching. If you could please do us a favor, help us grow the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and like the video. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.